Hello, my name is Elaine Brailsford and we are here at the 2015 Des Moines Quilt Week and I'm here with Ann McCauley from Valley Center, Kansas and she is a winner in the Wall Quilts Long Arm Quilted category and she's a first time winner. Yes, All yes right. I am. And her quilt name is Lone Star with Baskets and it's a very, very beautiful quilt. So we're going to hear a little bit about that. And tell us how long it took you to make this beautiful quilt. Starting from when I first saw it, it took several years just to get up the nerve to try to make it. I found the pattern in Quilt Media Magazine several years ago. Uh, when I found the fabric line that I liked, I uh, decided to give it a go. Um, overall, it probably took me a year to when I decided that uh, I was done. It should have been a much larger quilt, but uh, I decided that where I was was good. And um, like I was telling you, I actually made two of the Lone Stars because the first one was a total failure. <laughs> <laughs> so I redid it and um, then uh, I turned it over to my quilter, Jan Hutchison, and she did a fabulous, An fabulous job, job of quilting it for me. Now, Quilt Mania is a French magazine. Yes, it did is. you just see the picture and we're just taken by the whole look of it because it's, yes. it's a nice, very nice it's pattern. It's beautiful, beautiful. It was actually a full bed size quilt and um, I just kept going back to that picture thinking, oh my gosh, I would love to be able to make that. And I finally decided, okay, I'm going to do it and uh, started collecting fabrics and gave it a whirl. So you collected your fabrics one by one, going to a store, seeing something you liked? I have a friend uh, who had, in a shop in Newton, which is close to Valley Center, and uh, she started helping me pull some fabrics together nice. by looking at the picture, and then as, as I did, you know, how quilters do, do a little shopping here and there, mm -hmm. I'd find more pieces that I thought, well, this is going to work, mm -hmm. and tried to get a pretty good selection for the baskets, so there'd be a lot of variety in that. So you had challenges with that center Lone Star, <laughs> yes. which had to be so frustrating. <laughs> Well, the first one I made, like I was telling you, the uh, the stars didn't, the points didn't exactly point out. They more kind of like drooped. <laughs> and I thought, well, this isn't really going to go together well. And I tossed it and remade it and uh, learned an awful lot. Yes. Now, I was going to say, what we always learn from mm -hmm. our mistakes quicker yeah. than from just doing it right the first time. Yeah. What did you learn about that? What was the... I think the biggest point in... The Lone Star was realizing that when you're working with a diamond, you, how to line up your scenes mm -hmm. is a little bit different uh, because they're angled. And uh, accuracy is a really, really big, big factor when you're working with this small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I had, I had to be accurate. <laughs> so you got to a certain place where you had it put together. There was more to come, and you thought what? Mm -hmm. Well, these little seminal borders here, um, I really, really hate them. I will probably never do them again. There should have been another whole roll of uh, bigger baskets uh, going out to more of the Seminole border, and I, I, I couldn't do it <laughs> anymore. I said, this is good. This is where I'm stopping. You felt like it was complete just yep. the way that it was, and it is beautiful just the way that it is. Yeah. It really and is. And I'm happy with it. I'm so first happy. time winner, what's yes. it feel like? It's just amazing. I never really ever expected. To, to be here um, and it just it kind of makes you think well I'm just gonna keep going who knows what what's around the corner good for you so you're gonna enter it in some more shows and yeah I actually had it in Paducah I wasn't a winner there mm -hmm. but I was just thrilled to, to get to, in because you know everyone thinks oh Paducah you mm -hmm. got yeah, I got a quilt in Paducah mm -hmm. and uh, I got more quilts in my mind and uh, you never know. Because this is a difficult quilt. I mean, so what's the next thing that you're going to challenge yourself with? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking at another quilt mini, uh, the latest issue. There is a beautiful, uh, it almost looks like it would need to be hand pieced, but uh, there's there's always something around the corner. So you kind of have that tucked in the back of your mind. Yeah, though. we were looking at it. We were dreaming about it, trying to decide, you know, do we want to do all those Y scenes? But <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations Thank to you. you it is much. a beautiful quilt, and we do appreciate you entering it in the show. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited to be able to come up Good. with my friends, see it, 
and uh, see my friend Squilt that's here also and do some shopping. What fun, what fun. Right. Well, enjoy yourself All and right. congratulations. Thank you.